Hey you guys, so we are here to pre-plan the next week in my Lights Planner Action A5, the week of the 17th through the 23rd. I'm using this beautiful kit from the Beautiful Mess Co. It's beautifully foiled. And these um, paint rings the, from the January bundle from bpdshop.com. So the next bundle actually, by the time you see this video, was released yesterday and it's a galaxy theme. You guys, it's so gorgeous. I'm pretty sure I've already added it to cart by the time you see this video. So let's get started. We're going to include, we're going to plan this and we'll get going. Okay. So I'm still adjusting how I am using kits, my full size kits in this planner. Last week I used the day extenders to... Uh, add more room in the days but then I didn't really honestly I didn't really need the extra space so I will keep that in mind for the future on weeks I think that I'm going to have more to do um If you didn't see my response to a comment to Brandy Plans, my performance did not go as planned on the 15th. They did reschedule us um, due to uh, many different reasons. We were re the, the performance, the show itself is rescheduled for April 2nd because there was a lot of cancellations due to the vid. And so rescheduling it to April 9th will allow for the other shows to actually, the other performers to actually participate and be a part of the show. So I thought about pulling in my really cool watercolor dividers from BPD Shop, but I didn't really feel like I had one that would kind of match this. So I was like, okay, well, let me just go ahead and just, you know, use what I have, go there, do this. And go from there so this is what I'm gonna use and then we have this beautiful pattern washi foiled pattern washi that we're going to use I'm not gonna alternate it because I will use these snowflake ones above the full boxes because that's what I like to do and I know that I don't have a whole lot going on this week, so I don't need to use day extenders to get me extra space like I did um, last week, like I was experimenting with last week. So I don't really need to do that this week. It was fun to try it out, but it's not necessary. So how do I wanna do this? Okay, so this bottom washi, We're gonna put across the bottom here. I thought about dropping the bottom washi all the way to the bottom of the page because I do bring the date covers all the way up. And that actually sits, oh, I pulled that bit too tight. That's, this is a tiny bit short. That's okay. We will, we will be okay because we'll take a tiny piece of this one from this side and we'll use it to, to fill in that little gap there. So never you fear. And I apologize if it's a little shaky. I am using my old stand again just because my shoulder is really bothering me and doing a lot of extra manipulating and dealing and going around that is just not something I'm willing to work with and do with right now. Um, so my kiddo missed most of last week. She did not have 
the COVID or anything like that. She just had some stomach issues. And usually this time of year, she comes down with a cold, but she has not had a cold this year, which, you know, thank the Lord she has not, but she's having a hard time. So I finally broke down and I took the day off. I took, today's Friday, I took the day off. I'm like, okay, you know, when she's sick, all she wants is mom. She wants mom to hold her. Um, she wants, you know, mom to do everything for her. Well, I can't because I'm working. So I'm like, okay, let me just go ahead and take the day off. Let me just take care of my kid. And then today's the day that she's better. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? Why are you bothering me? Whatever. So we actually, um, we actually went to see if we could get her iPad repaired, which we cannot, which I kind of expected. And then we, um, I took her to Build-A-Bear because she can't go over to her grandma's because they're having some issues over there that does not allow her to visit. Wow, I really tore the paper on that one. You see that? It's bubbling up. You can't, you can almost not see that. So you just got to be careful. Okay, so I got this little piece and I love that you get all the things. You get all the things. So we're going to going to deal with that later. Now, did I put the trees upside down? No. Okay, good. I did not put the trees upside down because there's a path. There's a roadway. So... Then we're gonna take our slice tool. My slice tool. So since Alex is doing much better and food is not bothering her stomach, and she was like, okay, well, can I can I go to my friend's house? I said, yeah. So she called her friend up and her friend's like, you haven't been at school all week. She's like, well, it's not because of, you know, it's just because I've had stomach issues, which that's, she has, she's had some. And I spoke to, to my teacher's nurse, um, her, the school nurse actually called me because I called and was like, okay, I know what the r rules are for dealing with um, COVID. I know what those rules are. And it's been such, such a long time since I've had to deal with regular sick rules you know, I, I need to know what the regular sick rules are. And she was like, I get it. I feel like it's been forever since anyone's asked me regular sick rules. And I'm like, yeah. Um, so she, she let me know what it is that I needed to do and what I don't need to worry about. And Alex is all good there. Um, I know her dad was worried about it as well because he's like, okay, do we need a doctor's note? She's been out for so many days. I said, okay, let me find out from the school. And then the school nurse calls me, which was super cool. And I love the fact that the school nurse called me. I am still trying to figure out exactly what I want to put in this weekend section. Last week turned out really pretty, but I don't have a plan as to what I'm actually gonna put there yet. I'm waiting for something to like jump out at me. So I'll show you last week's, just to give you a reminder. So this turned out really pretty, but I don't know what to use it for yet. So that is a work in progress. So, look you guys, this owl is so gorgeous. I have affinity for owls. Even though I was attacked by one, and they terrify me a little bit now, just a tiny bit, not a whole lot. 
I got to tackle. Oh, I needed to move that over. But, you know, that's okay. I mean, this one has a cute little foil snowman right there. I think this week we're just going to lay the boxes all down across the bottom. I think that's what's going to make me happy. And with the Lights Planner Action Planners, you know, don't forget, you have to put the the, the, the full boxes and all your stickers not edge to edge, but like in between the edges, in between the lines. In between the lines. And you know, I think for this week, this is the perfect amount of space. I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out what is the perfect amount of space for me, how I'm going to properly, properly utilize this planner. So this past week, like I said, I used the extenders and I thought that was super cool. It gave me all this space to work with and I still got to do these really beautiful full boxes. So I really love that, right? But I really love the way this, this week turned out. And I didn't do a plan with me video for this week because I didn't like the way the video turned out. But I really love the way this turned out. And I really love the way this turned out. I really love the way this turned out. But like, I'm so boring that I feel like I, you know, ooh, got a little bit of chocolate on there somehow. Um, or smudge of something. I'm, I'm not satisfied the way I'm using what is traditionally a side by area yet. I'm still figuring out, see, I'm still figuring this bottom section out. <sighs> oh, I needed to fix that. I kind of like, if I remember correctly, the queen bee setup has um, Saturday and Sunday across the bottom. And maybe a setup like that will make me happy. I'm honestly not 100% sure yet. <sighs> so I'm torn, you guys. And then I also thought about for 20, see, I put that one too close to for 2023. Do I want to use a Hobonichi Cousin A5? Or do I want to go back to the 7x9 size planner? I am honestly, you guys, I am honestly torn about it. My alarm so rudely cut me off while I was laying this sticker down. So I'm honestly pretty torn on what style planner I'm going to do next year. And I know that most people are probably not thinking about their planner for 2023 yet. But I am. Man, this paper rips so easily for me. And then I'm obviously not going to put a header on Sunday because the box is so small. And the only important thing about Sunday is that Alex comes back from her dad's. So that's okay. So then it's like, okay, I thought when I got this style planner, I was going to have all these grand plans, like how I was going to use it, how I was going to make sure that my all my kits, the old kits look great in it. I had all these plans. And then as soon as I started using the planner, I'm like, 
this is not at all going the way I thought it was going to go. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I don't even, I don't even know at this point how it's supposed to go, how I want it to look, <sighs> which is very frustrating. So Monday is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Another person who has gone before their time, like Betty White. Like he was accomplishing so much good in the world. And someone took it upon themselves to make the decision that he was done doing his mission in life. And if you look at the state of the world that we're in, his work was not complete. But someone decided that it was. I love that. Okay. And I love the size of the planner. I really do. I love that it's petite. I love that it doesn't take up the whole space. Um, I love it. Also, I have I actually have a lot going on this week. I can't even mark work any days of these week. Now let me tell you why. I am supposed to be calling in every day for jury duty. So I don't know if I'm going to be on jury duty or if I'm going to be um, working that day. I also am supposed to have a job interview on this day, but I don't know if it's going to happen because if I'm called to jury duty, I won't be able to go to the job interview, which I've already reached out to them to let them know that um, I'm on jury duty. I have to call in every day. And I was like, and I don't want it to be a last minute thing on what can be done if I got called in that day. And the lady who was doing all the application stuff and the wonder social director questions, she said, don't worry about it. Um, I will let the panel know that potentially you have to reschedule your interview which I'm like, awesome. I'm so glad that it's not going to be like, oh, well, if you can't come, like you can't have your job interview. They're like, nope. I will let them know. Potentially you need to reschedule. It's for another remote position. We're going to see if I can handle that. I don't know if I can handle this, but we're going to see if I can handle this right here. Okay, so let's use, none of these really apply for what I'm tracking. Cool. Cool beans. We're gonna use this. And we're going to use this. Oh, but that would take up, you know what, honestly, but I don't need it to take up the whole day on Tuesday. Okay, so that was a cool idea. but I don't need trash to take up the whole day. Do I have a thin box? Thinner box. I'm gonna use this piece of patterned washi actually because the 18th I will be either working or reporting to my first day of jury duty. So 
So either way, um, but either day it's either trash or recycle. I'd have to look at the calendar. I can't remember off the top of my head if it's trash or if it's a recycle. And that just made my camera bounce so badly. Oh well, that's what I get for being lazy y'all. That's what I get for being lazy. Okay. And I know you're probably thinking, Stephanie, there's so much blue in this kit and yet you're bringing in these red color paint rings. And it's because these dark color paint rings help offset all the bright colors in it. Like the bright blues and the bright whites and the browns. I think it looks amazing. And if you wanted to, you could use these white pieces. Like in our bundle, you have some that have the same color as these splotches, but you could still use that white piece and you could slap that down on something. Um, I have I need to pull up there we go. There we go. I have these beautiful scripts from Sticky Sloth Designs. I do need to track my practice. Um, I practice, I drill belly dance stuff, not just the performance, because I've been doing that for a long time. Um, I do, I am trying to get back into my sign language practice, so trying to start practicing my ASL again. What other? I have all of these scripts that I don't need right now. What else am I tracking? What else do I need to track? Um, I can't think it up off the top of my head. But I'm sure I'll figure out whatever it is I need to track. Okay, so I have all of these to use. So I have this, these, this and this to use for this coming week. Um, and it's kind of up in the air on if I have um, jury duty or not. And I will find out later in the week if I have belly dance practice for the show that we're going to be performing in. Um, because even though the performance was moved to April, we still want to get practice in. Obviously, we still, she's going to make it a little bit longer. And there's going to be a little bit of choreo now that she has time to map it out a little bit more with the crew. And we have to change the roles a little bit because one of the ladies is not going to be available that day. But we will make it work and it'll be beautiful and it's going to be so much fun and I can't wait to perform again. I have not performed in public since before my injury um, and I got injured in 2018. I The last time I performed was sometime in 2017. So I'm actually kind of excited, you guys. I'm actually really excited to do so. So the beautiful Mess Co. Um, use... Steph 20 to save 20%. Put my name in notes to seller for my PR freebie. Splats from bpdshop.com. You sassy Steph, you save 15% and you get my PR freebie. Links are always in the description down below. I also have a few links and descriptions uh, and um, codes for other PR girls that I know, um, for shops that I also love in my description box. And if you have any questions, drop them down. I try to get to them and I'll see you guys later. Bye.